Yoshihide Suga is a seasoned backroom operator who was chosen last September to continue the political agenda of his predecessor Shinzo Abe. Feared by bureaucrats for his relentless work ethics, Suga managed to move policies forward. Critics say he is more of an administrative prime minister than a typical politician. In one year, Suga carried out key agendas that did not make any progress in the previous 10 years, such as cutting cell phone charges, pledging carbon neutrality, establishing a digital agency, putting in motion the disposal of radioactive wastewater and raising medical fees by 20 percent. He moves things forward. But to the public, Suga lacked charisma and did not appear to be an empathetic leader. His approval ratings plunged on criticism over Japan's pandemic response, including going ahead with the Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics as cases surged. And they say his pledge for Japan to go carbon neutral, strengthening fertility treatment, and setting up an agency to digitalize government administration were positive achievements, breaking long years of bureaucratic inertia. The positive things he did included reducing mobile phone charges. Since April, the charges have dropped by 40 percent, which translates to an average reduction of 5,100 yen for every household. We can also expect a positive result from setting up a digital agency. Low on the scorecard for Suga were a slow start in COVID vaccination and overwhelmed medical system during the pandemic. And they say, with better foresight, Japan could have held the Olympics with spectators. And there's the economy. Countries like the United States recovered their GDPs to pre-pandemic levels by the second quarter. But the Japan extended a state of emergency most of the year. The government said the economy could recover by the final quarter, but it will likely be sometime in 2022. And they say it is important for the next cabinet to carry on with Suga's green and digital policies and get the economy back on recovery track. Terence Teshima, CGTN, Tokyo.